What the fuck is up? It's Can a motherfucking man. We just wrapped up an awesome motherfucking interview with my guy. So make sure you watch Real Deal with uh, Kill. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I forgot to put it. Watch my hippie just follow me on my phone. What the fuck is up? It's Ken the motherfucking man. I just wrapped up a great interview with the kill. Make sure y'all tune in to. I gotta say, watching. She fucked up. She fucked up this. God damn, that's what I tell you. All these goddamn takes it's gonna take. I said the shit before it happened. I read it in her mind. God fuck. He take jinxed three. me. Take three. Come on, be serious. Be serious. You play too much. I'm right here, I'm right here. What the fuck is up? It's Ken the motherfucking man. I just wrapped up this great interview with this guy. So make sure y'all watch Real Deal with Akil and check out our interview. And he be like, while you at it, you can follow me on Ken the man on Earth thing. She did all right. She did all right. Ken the man, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, It's been a long overdue uh, conversation because I've been one. I've been, I told it before the show started. I said, man, I want... I want to have on the show like a year and a half ago. It's actually been like, hmm, I started the show two years ago. Let's say a year and a half. <laughs> year and a half I've been wanting to have on the show. Finally here. You got your whole management crew now. To hit. I to, I to, see, at first I contacted you, but you didn't see my email, of course. Nobody look at emails. Oh, I do look at my emails. Nobody look at emails in 2019. But I even do. though it's on the motherfucking phone, when that, when that alert come in. No, actually my email... Do not come to my phone. That shit be like hours late. I'd be like, oh, you're in there. Yeah, I sent that like May. I like, yo, what up? It's like, okay, man, I got a podcast, blah, 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 through like links in there. I try to I try to butter it up a little bit. Make it sound. I'm like, all right. All right. She, she going to say something back on this. I ain't get no reply. Oh I said, damn. God. And then like months. Then like, it's crazy because last week I was on Instagram and I had this new thing. Now, if I see somebody on Instagram that's like relevant, I'm going to say, I'm going to. They got like a email and I'm gonna just I'm gonna just email them. Mm -hmm. Bam, just type some shit up. Finally, I got a reply back like a day later. People, everybody, I check my emails. It was just an unfortunate circumstance that I missed his. How you get that name though, Kenna man? I got it from my brain, of course. Me, my name is Ken. So Kennedy. No. So straight up, Ken. Yep. Lying. I'm lying, but still, I hate my name so much. But, but my name is Ken. It's but that's really my nickname because my real name is Ken something, right? So, <laughs> so hold on, wait, time out. What's wrong with this? Hold on, Ken. No. But it's good as shit. My How family, is it? my One family, like nah. <laughs> no, it ain't worse. Than Nine point five. <laughs> ain't worse. Ain't worse than mine. No, but I mean, shit, it's bad to me. They just mix some shit together and let my cousin name me, and I got four names. Your I was like, they just fucked with yeah, my cousin name me. Your parent, your soul, your mom didn't want to name you. I mean, I got a little piece of them. I got the K. My dad name is Kenneth. My mom name is Kathy. So I got the K, and then Ken, Kenneth, and yeah. then they just threw some shit. Out. <laughs> so it was like one long ass first name. It's not. It's eight letters. It ain't that long. Okay, so it's not bad. <clears throat> So, that's so you back got, to the goat name. Yeah, so go go back to the goat name, Ken the Man. So it was, um, you know, my first little step was SoundCloud. And Ken was taken, obviously, because regular users could just be on there, like yeah. none artists. So I just threw it, like, you know, a little, you know, the dowsy on there. I don't know. I was just being stupid. And I just put the man, you know. Yeah. And then it was like, I have did my first feature. And it was like, you going by Ken the Man or Ken? I was just like, Ken, like, the fuck? That's just my SoundCloud name. And then it was like, man, I think you should run with it. That whole live and i was just like mm, i don't think i think it's kind of ugly and then it grew on me because it was just like damn i really am the man because you know it stands for like the attention grabber like the that nigga yeah. and i feel like in my music i was that nigga i wasn't just like that bitch i was kind of like a little everybody was telling me man you could go with the niggas like you could roll with the with you know what i'm saying so i was yeah. just like shit it fit it's, and then it started growing and i just love it now i could people some people that tried to work with me in the past was like how do you feel about changing the name i was like bitch i would never i would never no i would never change my name i don't care if i'm old as shit i was still not kinder woman no. Ken the lady? Because I already know I'm a lady. Ken the baddie? Ken the baddie. Does that work? Does that, I know that works. Ken the baddie, hell to the no. What? Oh, hold on now. Because it's Why? like, I'm already a bad bitch. I ain't got to like. Tell them. My name ain't got to say, oh, you a bad bitch. You can look at it. You know I'm what I'm saying? I'm fucking with you. I know. I know you like my name. That's why that was your first question. Uh, well, I was like, I just put it through like an ordinary open. <laughs> like, oh, let me just it's break the ice. Yeah, it's fucking just, name. I was uh. just kind of mad, people. You know, I just wanted to know. People want to know, too. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to know as well. But I also want to know about this song, though. He'd be like. Hmm. I don't know that song. Oh, you don't know it? Mm. Let me tell you something about this song. This shit been viral. It was like (laughs) popping this whole summer. Summer's over right now, so it was one of the top songs I've been seeing. It's another. Oh, another thing too about that song. It hit over a million plays total. Oh you yeah, no, that? just on Apple. Yeah, just yeah. on Apple. I seen that bitch. She had posted that. Like, what? Yeah. Who is this girl? So when you saw that, what you thought about that girl? You like, damn. Who I was is just this? like, oh wow, what what an amazing achievement, accomplishment. Yeah. You know, I mean, she got to feel great about herself. So if it, if it was you, how you would have felt? I would have felt like, damn, all these years of rapping. How long you been and rapping? I finally like seven years. Probably next year be like seven years. Like beginning of next year. For real? Yeah, I've been rapping a minute. I just started getting there. You or her? Who is it? Oh yeah. Oh, see, <laughs> fuck it up, boy. Couldn't keep it going. Got him. Couldn't keep you it going. Take me. Couldn't keep it going. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but now nah, that a million felt amazing because it, it was like alone on Apple, mm-hmm. and I never hit a million like. In a few months on yeah. Apple, like streaming wise, so it was yeah, like, yeah. wow, that's cool. Cause I, I definitely hit two million on Deserve, but it was like year after years. Yeah, and you recorded that song this year or like this year? I recorded in like April. So did you think it was gonna blow up like the way it did? I when mean, you first I, I, I kind of had a feeling, but you know how people like people will beg you for something. Then when when they when you put it out, it's yeah. like they sleep on it, like right. they wanted to hear, it, but. Like, it was a lot of people coming in on it. I was just like, that's so weird. Like, usually I felt like I was a visual person. Like, I had to have my face on it, like a video. Yeah. Yeah. And this is my first time, like, going viral without, without a video. And I was just like, wow, this is, like, crazy. Like, people really just started fucking with it. And it was, like, Tank commented on it and, like, other celebrities. And I was just like, where the fuck? How did y'all find me? Because they don't follow me. They still don't follow me. Right. But it's like they commented on my little teaser clip. And I was like, yeah. I guess it's a pretty good song. So, I I feel like it would do good, but I thought in order for this to blow up, it would need a video. So was this a story behind this song? Because like, all right, I feel like when you make mute, when people make music, mm-hmm. it's a story behind everything you make. You're just not gonna go in the studio and just rap by anything. Yeah, it gotta be some type of story behind it. So. Well, is there any story behind he be like, is this some dude in the past? My old dude go ask me, tell him, uh, you wrote that about me. I was like, nigga, no. <laughs> uh, he, thought, uh, he thought he did something. He, he thought, thought he, he did something. Some. I was like, ah, nah, 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 nigga, nah. that ain't yeah. about you. Like, actually, I just was like, I know what happens in the bedroom, obviously. So I was just like in the car and I heard the beat. And it was just like, I ain't never heard nobody moan on a whole hook. So I was just like. I heard somebody moan on the interlude. Not a whole hook, though. And not they a person whole, song. It probably was like a bitch moaning for a nigga. It was a whole minute thirty on Biggie, Lil Kim. They was actually fucking. I on, never even heard that. Really, on his first album. Yeah, if you go to the interlude on the album, I was more of a Tupac Big gal. And, story, yeah. Biggie and Lil Kim was actually in the studio, and they let the, they let the button they let it record. They was actually fucking on interlude. Damn, that's live. I want to do that. Should do it. I should. I got to get a boyfriend first because I don't want to seem slutty. I'm already. Hey, don't don't start that. Oh, that's I yeah, think I, because they gonna be like this bitch single and she fucking somebody no, on her interlude. No, it's not. No, it's not. We can't that is slutty. Ken, if I'm just fucking a random on my Ken, interlude, and they know I've been no, single it's, for it's six years. Ain't got, but this thing. See, and I, I'm good. It's good that we having this conversation right now because I didn't write <laughs> this part in here. But you can't do that. I mean, shit. We have sex when you single. I know, but you don't have sex in public to where somebody's like pressing. It is public. It's in the studio, and somebody got to press the goddamn button. Yeah. You be like, come on, man. So who in there? Right it's, okay, it's just y'all two. It's, let's say, let's hypothetically, <laughs> 9 o'clock, you go record, your, 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 uh, you in the studio. It's just, hey, you you bored. You just making songs, trying to find a beat. Hey, you want to come through just to chill or whatever. He I mean, like, I'm all for fucking in public. be like, I okay, will, cool. but it's just like I'm not finna just to fuck like. But they ain't got for my story behind it. They <laughs> think it's fake. You didn't know that. Now they gonna know it's real. Cause if I pop up with that, I'm like, she said that that one interview. Hey, sometimes it happens. Shit, I might come here one day and show my press. No, I'm stop. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> you be fired. Uh, well, I mean, hey, you know, sometimes you be in the moment, especially in the studio. You could do anything in the studio. You really can. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm, pre- I'm pretty sure there have been plenty of stories where people have went inside the studio and did their thing. And I did. never knew that about that, though. And that's yeah. so crazy because I literally pulled the idea out of my ass and was like, that would be awesome. True. So, basically, you said, basically, uh, you know you know how it goes in the bedroom. So, it's mm-hmm. like, okay, dudes. On that's the what they say. They be like, 
everything you said in the song, that's what they said. Everything. Everything I said, I was just like, that's why all the hoes love it. Because they like, damn. She ain't lying because Man, some of these chicks be lying too though. Some but of these don't be getting. I know probably off. like three out of five not lying. Three out of five. Maybe two out of the ratio. Man, do I when I be having sex? Do I be saying shit like you that? You do because I seen uh, I, I seen a porn. Soon as I did the recorded song, I seen a porn just scrolling innocently on my Twitter, being a saint that I am, and I seen this guy talking about oh fuck. I was like. I knew I was on to something. I didn't even see that before I said it. I think words I'll be saying when I be in a bed. Damn. I'm this like, pussy I'm wet. Like, I'm like, shit. Shit. Fuck. Fuck. God damn. Damn, baby, this pussy wet. Shit. <laughs> and then take a grip. Damn, right there. And then you about to, you about to bust or something. So I'm making all types of sound effects. So many weird sounds God, you guys yeah. oh make. Oh, my God. The shit I be making. Like, it's like kind of embarrassing after him. Hell no. No. I mean, it ain't embarrassing. It's, it's, it's a man. It's I mean, a man. I would be embarrassed if I was y'all because y'all be tripping. But nah, it's about a, to. I'll be, I have like a manly bus. You know what I'm saying? Like a not a. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not like a bitch bus. It's like a man bus. Like it, it would turn the chick on. I'm like, oh, I'm about to bust. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I'd be like, oh. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, man, it's like, oh. <laughs> mm. I can't believe you fucking describing your sex oh, on this damn shit. Shit. You might put down an interlude or something. Like I know. Like that's interlude. what we going to have to say this clip. I was like, oh. look at him creating my damn interlude. Oh. God damn. Then you done. Walk to the restroom, get a towel. And shit. That's how it's it over. Or shirt if you ain't got no towel. I was finna make a song and say that if you ain't got no towel, hand me that shirt, babe. That's be the Cause I'm about title. to squirt, babe. You be squirting? <laughs> oh, wait a I minute. Get, no, I was finna freestyle. Oh. <laughs> I was finna freestyle. I was finna freestyle. No, I said, give me that shirt, babe. Cause I'm finna squirt, babe. No, but I'm gonna tell you a true story though. A lot of females don't think they can squirt. I know, but everybody can. No, every female can. Oh, I had a, you know what? Answer this question. Is squirt piss? Yes or no? I feel like when I see it on camera, it look like piss. Because I don't see it coming out of it. Then one time I had seen this one girl on porn, and she actually, when I was like scrolling, I mean, I didn't go and try to find it or anything. And I seen a girl. The saint you are. The saint that I am. Okay. hmm, I just like seen it and i was looking and i was just like i wonder where this is gonna come from and it, it, i think it came out the hole i wonder do we have like an extra pussy hole like in our pussy hole you know you got the pee hole the clit, right, right. the clit we're right the where the clit sit and then you got the inner hole the hole that you stick the dick in mm -hmm. and i wonder like is it a hole in there that skirts out i don't know i, I know there's a lot of little holes in there i make females squirt by fucking and eating uh, he a fool. I'm a fool with it, bro. <laughs> I'm a fool with it. I'm a fool with it. Ladies, man. you might want to get some dick hey, from him because he like you squirt, baby. I had fem I had some females tell me at times that they didn't think they could, or they would just talk shit and be like, "You're not gonna make me do it." And I'm like, "Okay." Then I I get extra motivated. You know what I'm saying? So like, you get extra motivated and you really want to prove your point, and then that's how the, that's how some of the best sex be. You know what I'm saying? Because you you're motivated. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to show you up now. You going to screw up. She be like, oh, my. You know, going to a trance. You've seen Get Out? How yes. he was in the chair. He was locked in his eyes. Got, you know what I'm saying? Like in a sunken place. <laughs> like after So you be putting them hoes in a sunken place. Man, I remember I put this one chick in a sunken place. Like, yo. I I've called, never in my life been in a sunken place. Ever since then, I caught, that, I caught the move I did, the sunken place. It was the most basic move ever. Basically, I was on top and I was on the edge of the bed standing up. And I was like, just going crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> and she just gave me this look. She was like, like, yo. <laughs> no. I, I, was, I got scared. I was like, yo, hold on, wait, wait. I stopped. And then she kept, she stood there for like extra 30 seconds like, <laughs> I was like, yo. I'm, I'm looking, I'm, I'm scared from the outside but on the inside. I'm like, I just did this shit, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I so just scored a 30 piece. <laughs> I just scored 30 and 15 with a triple this double. This guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to, but I'm just saying, like, that's just 
how sometimes women are like they tell, oh you ain't gonna do shit, oh you ain't gonna do this, you ain't gonna do that. Like, right, bitches man. love talking shit. They just be wanting you to. Prove it's, it's, it. it's all about motivation. That's 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 what it is. And I had a question too because I, I didn't I didn't put this down. That's but I thought about this this week. I be having random thoughts. <laughs> rank, rank this. Okay, you know it's different types of sex. Mm -hmm. Like drunk, high, mm -hmm. motivation sex. You got morning. You got. You know what I'm saying? Angry, whatever. Yeah. If you had to rank them, what's the best one? Like one through, like like one through five. So the start least at, start at five. That's the least, right? Yeah. Shower sex, hate it. I hate it. I hate that. Hate shit. it. It feels rubbery and weird and I gross. Um, fourth, I hate it from the back. Hate it. Every bitch like it. I've never been met a person to relate to me. But I went to the gynecologist, right? The who? Fun fact: gynecologist. The hell is that? The pussy doctor. Oh. <laughs> and she told me that my um what is the shit called? My um ovary? No, not my ovaries, my whatever the shit is. I can't remember, but it's upside down. So she said it might be uncomfortable for me back there. And I was like, I've always wondered why I hated it. So that's yeah. four. Well, I'm talking about not positions, but like types. Like, you know, he got drunk, high. Morning, oh, oh shower, well, I really haven't had. I had some drunk sex that was terrible before, but it wasn't like him or anything. We were comfortable with one another. It just was like it wasn't fun. Then high, I was high all the time, so I didn't notice the difference between not being high because I was always high. Oh smoke. well, now I don't smoke, so maybe not high because you get cotton mouth and shit, and the shit be dry. And it was good spontaneous. Spontaneous, yeah, everywhere. I like public sex. Yeah, I enjoy no, public. I was sex. talking about as far as like you. Well, it's called one night stand, but like. Oh, no, I don't have one night stands. Because you a saint. Because I'm a saint. No, 100% no lies that time. Yeah. 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 No, 100%. For real? Yeah, I don't have. Oh, okay, so boom. Okay, well, shit. Okay, so third. Okay, number one, I like um, in the middle of the night sex. Because that shit be fucking slapping. Middle of the night. Like three in the I morning. Middle like of the you. Day. Yeah. I hate middle. I, that's, 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 that's number six. Middle of the day. Middle of the day. I'm like working all day. I, I never really had no middle of the day that sex. Shit suck, man. But when you wake up out your sleep, it's like that should be hidden. Morning. And then right you just up. get a real like a real comfortable position to where you just kinda like spooned and then you just <sighs> To me, drunk and morning is the two best to me. I mean I'm gonna try the drunk thing again. Drunk and morning is the best. I never knew it was different types of like alcohol sex. Like, oh he got I was told one time, Oh, you got that bourbon whiskey dick. I was like, what, what the f <laughs> mother, what the f bourbon whiskey mean? dick? I like what? I like what? What does that mean? She's like, you got look okay, you know you got the vodka dick, you got the Hennessy dick. I, said, I have never fuck? heard of that. That bitch get too much dick. I said, ew. How the know. hell she got different dick Alcohol. drinks? Alcohol, like what? <laughs> drink the margarita dick. What's that like? Daiquiri dick. You know what I'm saying? Like me <laughs> saying she got that margarita pussy. Like she yo. got some margarita pussy, man, with that with the little lamb squirted on top. I'm like, like yo, geez. she told me that once. I said, "What the fuck is bourbon whiskey dick?" That sounds like some old man dick. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, but I mean, shit. Well, hold on, what's time out? <laughs> bourbon whiskey dick Not, sound old. Like you got age dick, right? Don't but my thing is just like, why was I told that? Old. It sounds like yeah, it feels like I'm fucking my grandpa. <laughs> get off, get out of here, bro. Nah, it'd be worse if, you, if I'd have said, uh, "What's that? What's what's it called?" Um, oh my scotch, scotch dick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds kind of like white. Yeah. Oh, it was because you know scotch was popular in the '80s. '80s was scotch and cigarettes. And now I be smoking <laughs> hookah now. No, you got hookah dick now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what if a bitch be like, I know what kind of dick you got. You got that hookah you dick. I'm nasty. Mango flavor with a little mint, bitch. You got she that. She said, I got some rock dick or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Just some rock dick sound like it's good, though. You it got sound like sloppy. Rock, that makes it all the better. <laughs> the skit you ever had some called Skittles? It's a drink called Skittles? I have. Like all the, all the vodka, I think all the Ciroc's or some shit. Oh, shit, no, I haven't. That's I don't true. like Ciroc Red Berry. Hate it with a passion. Red what? Ciroc Red Berry. Oh, Hate it oh, with a passion. Basic. But those are, my two. those are my two, though. I like uh, Drunk and Morning. Those are my two best. But I'm going to ask you this, though. You think now since... Okay, I'm going to ask you this. Do you consider this song he be like is a hit? 100%. Okay, now I'm going to ask you this. Do you feel like every time now you go into a studio that you have to... Make, a Make another like, hit, or you're just gonna. I'm gonna ask you that. Do you think like you got to live up to that? Um, actually, no, because 
I mean, I just rap a lot of different ways. So I just do what I feel like. I never try to make the next hit because I feel like I didn't try to make a hit when I wrote He Be Like. Mm-hmm. When I did Deserve, I didn't try to make a hit. It did just, you produce He Be Like or did you have like a team of people? Oh, no. I did that shit by myself. I found the beat and really? bought the beat. Got like uh, like exclusive. Got, got it. You know, made sure it was all me and shit like that. And I, yeah, yeah no, nah, I did it all myself. And just the producer made the beat, of course. Oh, okay. okay. So, yeah. No, nah, but I never like go in like, ooh, I gotta make the next CB. Like, I don't. I, I'm real like a vibe rapper. Like, yeah. I rap the way that I feel at the moment. And if it's good, it's good. If it's trash, I just stop recording. Do you think now that help? That kind of helps you now because not a spotlight. Because for example, like now they see somebody from Houston now, Megan. Mm-hmm. Now she's nationwide. Now people probably gonna be like, hmm, who else can we find as a female rap artist that lives in Houston? Do you think that that? Kind of help you out a little bit. Now the eyes kind of like on Houston now. I feel like in a way, yeah, because you got to think about like New York, how all the girls that was popping as fuck was from there. Mm-hmm. So it's like maybe the spotlight was on them when mm-hmm. one person, maybe Kim or whoever, you know, kind of put it like, ooh, who's the next, who's, you know, going to be the next Kim type shit, yeah. you know? So we never had nobody besides fucking Beyonce and she not a rapper. Yeah. It's just it's like... It didn't exist down here as a rapper. So I feel like, yeah, you, I feel like female rap is different now. Like, it's a lot more versus it being one, which was Nicki. So I feel like female rap as a whole is being looked at in a different light. And, yeah, it is better that somebody finally popped out of Houston. Yeah, and it's not just rap. You got Normandy. Mm-hmm. You got oh yeah, Lizzo and shit. Lizzo. I was like, I didn't even know that I was from. I thought Normandy was from well, like not, Dallas. Yeah, exactly. So Normandy's not even originally from here. Yeah, she's from like I think she she from Georgia moved to New Orleans, moved out here because of Katrina. But then Lizzo, I think, is from Houston. Yeah, from like you know what I'm saying. But like just born and raised, like Megan's like they put it kind of put the eye on like okay, who's the next female hip hop artist from. From the city in a way. Mm-hmm. Like, what else y'all got? Because we ain't never heard no noise from here, you know? Exactly. <clears throat> exactly. But I'm going to ask you this, though. You, you, know, you know anybody else that got birthdays coming up? Any who? Birthdays. Do I know anybody that got birthdays coming yeah. up? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Soon? Like, my dad. Okay. But, like, it's soon, though. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I, want, you, I want to tell you this right now. Blaze Cakes has some of the best cakes out here in the city of Houston. <laughs> Such as Drinker Gates that... Had that bought a birthday cake from her mm-hmm. for her birthday. Had that address and everything. Shout out to Drinker Gates. Birthdays, graduations, holidays, baby showers, you name it, anything. Custom cakes, cupcakes, lollipops. <laughs> Endless <laughs> amount of flavors, <laughs> goddammit. Even alcohol infused flavors. So if your dad drink, does he drink? Yes. Okay, well, Hell shit. Hell of a lot. He got, they got the Hennessy cake, mm-hmm. Hennessy flavor, Crown Apple, Ciroc, and many, many more. Do they got gin? Because that's they got what he gin. Like. <laughs> The gin will he make you gin. sing. <laughs> exactly. So if you want gin in his birthday cake, just hit up Blake Cakes. Blake Cakes HTX on Instagram. And then put the discount code RDWAN for a 20% discount. And they also deliver. Ooh. So Blake's Cakes HTX.com and follow them on Instagram and Facebook. Blake's Cakes HTX. So Back to the shot. I told I'm gonna hit you with that. You weren't ready for that. I was it's like, caught you by surprise, huh? Huh? Birthdays? Because I was thinking like you were talking yeah. about celebrity birthday. I'm sorry. Nah. I don't fucking keep up with that shit. I told you. I told you before the shot. I said, hey, let's go and hit you. It is. And I was confused to say, I was just like, hmm. It confused him too. He was like, what the fuck is this? Hey, <laughs> that's called improvising, baby. Man, you did that shit. That's what it's called. But no, I'm gonna ask you this though. Kind of on a serious question. So, do you have like a lot of people in your ear? When it comes to like making music or making decisions in like life, or like who can you go to as advice? For example, like look in the studio. Mm-hmm. People think it's a whole fucking team when we do this show. It's just me and him. Yeah. 81 episodes, it's been me and him. But of course, we had a little help on the side or whatever from time to time to get people referring us, mm-hmm. referring people to our show and everything. <clears throat> but like, do you keep a, a huge circle around you? 100% not. I don't have yeah. a lot of people in my ear because... I'm glad you ain't coming with nobody. Good Lord, I be hating that. Oh, niggas sometimes. have this whole wild cover. God. The people up here on the roof right oh, now. Oh, people breathing down my neck sometimes and shit. The nigga in the blinds and shit. God damn, I be Woo. nervous. I be like, damn, what the f... Right, they just be sitting there still. Just yeah. standing. Just quiet. Everybody quiet. Just quiet and standing. You know smelling what like weed. God. I know so they smell like brother. drugs. Just walking in here. Don't be smelling like cologne. Don't be smelling like that Jimmy Choo like what I got on right now. 
Yeah, because you was you was trail. I was like, okay, Shit. Mr. Man. That's the Jimmy Two Audi WA edition. But <laughs> <laughs> what? He made me laugh. But nah, so like, cause I know that's a real thing because you know what I'm saying. I don't really hang with like a lot of people. Me either. Like when they come to advice, I make my own, I make my own moves. Of course, I call like some people up sometimes. Like, hey, what you think? Usually, I have the best ideas. If we're just being honest, like I have great ideas, they work. Yeah. So it's like I'll ask Melissa, my manager. I'd be asking her, like, just for her to see if I'm tripping. Mm-hmm. But like, and then I'll send my friends my songs because I halfway don't like half the shit I do. So I send them to be like, Am I tripping? You hard on yourself or something? A hundred percent. Yeah, that's how it's supposed that's, to be. Yeah, I'm the hardest. That's why I'd be like, I don't want, like, once I'm ready to present, I don't want to hear shit because, like, I done beat myself the fuck up. Yeah. Knock myself out. So, yeah, I'm really hard on myself. I've been hard on myself, but now it's like, now that I have, like, more of an eye on me, it's like I'm super hard on myself now. And I just feel like. Yeah. Starting to feel that pressure. One through ten. Ain't no pressure. Ain't no pressure. Okay. Ain't no pressure. I pressure myself, but ain't no pressure, though. So, was it hard on, was, so, was you hard (laughs) on yourself when you first dropped the song? You was like, when it, when it put out, you was like, damn. Uh-uh. I kind of want to take this part. It wasn't like that. Nope. I feel like it was perfect. Yeah. Like, I, I didn't feel like, damn, should I have done this? I? It was like, I got tired of recording it because, I, like I said, I beat myself up. So, in the studio, I kept recording certain parts over. Like, nah, I don't like the way I said that. I don't like the way I said that. But then I got tired of myself. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Just fix it. Like, just do the little shit where you just do level the shit. And let me hear it. Yeah. I need to go on somebody. I went, I went inside the studio a couple of times, but I didn't record anything. But I want to, I need, I need to start going into some more studio sessions. It's no fun around. when you're not an artist. Well, I, I could freestyle. So it'd be fun. You laugh. I want to hear it because he, the, boy, the, the guy, your main man, that's been 81 shows in, which you say, you fucking trash. Get this guy out of here. This <sighs> guy crazy, fucking man. sucks. You don't see this, right? You don't. You don't. You can't. <laughs> so you just don't. Get you, this guy out of here. So you just look at me right now. You don't see bars. Like, damn, he's a <laughs> bar. You're not going to just look at somebody like, damn. No, I look at you and think offbeat. Wow. <laughs> you got hard, too. Wow. I look at me like, I'll be, I'll key. Wow. That's going to be your rap name, I'll be. I'll be? <laughs> they going to be like, damn, why the nigga name I'll be? Wow. They going to play it and be like. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Woo. I'll be, that's your rap name, man. That was <laughs> good. I'll be. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers don't know shit <laughs> about what the fuck I can <laughs> drop. After this show, I'll beat on the track. Uh-huh. Okay. I'll beat on the track, so boy. Funny. All right. <laughs> so I'm gonna say, see, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say something about yourself. I'm gonna keep it in though. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say something about your song. Wait. You wanna know? <laughs> man, that he be like was trash as fuck. <laughs> man, it's me. That's why he asked some D for like that's a hit. He probably was like he said, "Fuck no, that shit man, pure man, ass." Man, shit go ass. Back, man. Go back to the drawing boards, my go guy. Go back. <laughs> Go back. Go back and don't come back, bitch. Unless I'm on a remix, the shit trash. <laughs> okay, but I'll beat on a remix. Fuck it. Bet. That's all we got to say. You got to tell people, like, hey, I'm on a remix. <laughs> I better be on the goddamn next project as an intro or interlude. From your little, your Scott Dick Hennessy whiskey bourbon Man, dick. I got that. Some... Hey, look. I want to be on the interlude of your next project. What you going to be talking about? What you mean? I'm going to talk my shit. Like, give me an example. Okay, if you want that heat, like interlude, I'm gonna get an interlude. I'm gonna do like the big, not like Big and Kim, not like Big and Kim. No, no, see, see, I don't want y'all minds in the good of people. I gotta put my logos on for this guy. Like, yo, like, just yeah. on some shit, like, we acting. You on that mic, I'm on this mic. You know what I'm saying? We just acting like some shit happening. It's the interlude to that song because it gets people ready already. You know what I'm saying? When you like doing like the moaning, like, ooh, ah, ooh, fuck, mm. Smacking the ass type shit. He said. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just different. I just want to be on the interlude, damn it. That's all. That's all. That's on my bucket list. Okay. Can I get that? Yeah, you got a good voice. So when's the project? Can we, can we get a, can I get a date? Um. Well, I'm my deadline to finish it is October 15th. Oh, yeah, deadline? So I got like 14 days. Okay. Yeah, I put myself on the deadline because I work better under pressure. Yeah. My fucking dumb ass. I put my own self on the deadline, so I kind of don't feel the pressure because it's me. I'm like, yeah, I could buck that shit at any moment. Yeah. But it's like I'm really ready, and I, I'm four songs in. So. Right. You going to keep your low song? Huh? You keeping your low song? What low song? Oh, keeping my low song. No. Thank you. Can I, I got you said you going to keep that low song? It's like, what low song? Y'all be talking fast or something? 
I mean, no, you just fumbled that one. You fumbled that I one. I fumbled that one? Yes. Like you fumbled, he'd be like, huh? Fuck <laughs> 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 this get him guy, back. y'all. That's to get him back, dog. Fuck off, B. I'm a, we gonna have the first rap beef in his career. That's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make him end his career, y'all, before it even starts. You came in freestyle shit. So <laughs> I came freestyle. You went on the radio show in freestyle. Yeah, because I prepared myself. Okay, oh, just go, just go off my energy then. That's what you got off beat? Okay, so what's your rap name? Off beat. Since he really doing this shit. Damn, the headphones not in here. Off beat, bro. Damn, he not even in here too. I'm gonna find some. If I can find some headphones, we're doing this. Fuck it. We're doing it. I always freestyle before my shows to the crowd. It'd be kind of lame, but they love it. It'd be well, some nice thing is, we ain't got to use an instrument. We can use we can use this back in back in the day. We ain't got no pencil though. You got a pen. Oh, that's all I need right there. Keep that shit going. Huh? <laughs> hey, keep that shit going, boy. I'll yeah. Out of the track. Yeah, keep that shit going. Keep it going. Man, my fingers hurt. Man, God damn. This a hard ass type. I was trying to use. I'm keep it going. I'm waiting on you to just come in and any second. Maybe you would. Boys just do. Oh, yeah, I used to <laughs> Come on, keep it going. I can't pick Come it back on. up because of my nails. Uh. 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 Ooh. Come on, we making it. Hit. You look at me. Yeah. Come on. Uh. What? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. What? Uh. Hold on. It's off beat. On that motherfucking track, it's AK. Hit a bitch from the back. I'm like, what's that? She like, damn, that shit fat. I'm like, yeah, yes sir, yes sir. Hold up, it's AK on the motherfucking track. Hey, it's AK. I hit that from the back. Hold up, she said, damn, yo, dick fucking fat. I'm like, hey, yeah. She be like, god damn, ooh. Ooh. My hair hurt, y'all. I mean, that was a legendary beat, though. Ain't nobody Come fucking on, with man. my beat. Yeah, my yeah, pencil beat. But you seen that freestyle, though. I, I couldn't even hear. I was trying to focus on my keys so fucking hey. much. I'm going to have to white, white, watch when the tape roll back because I was not paying attention. <laughs> I heard Jesus, some parts that was on beat, though. I was like, yeah, that's ah, my name no. I gave him. Right. No, that whole so my, my dick fucking fat. Hey, I ain't lying to these motherfuckers, though. So but nah, what keeps you motivated though? Um, like <clears throat> when people, like I say, like I go every time I do a song or something, like I go on my live because my supporters motivate me. Mm-hmm. They make me want to like drop more shit. They make me want to keep on putting it out there and stuff. Like honestly, that's my biggest motivation is them because they literally be making me go viral. Like I don't be having no budget. Yeah. Like I said, I managed myself for four years. So it's just like everything that I've accomplished was because of them telling people about me. <clears throat> right. So it was like, shit, that's what I, that yeah. shit. And you, I could see the people that have been down. Like I could see, I remember them. I interact with them. I talk to them. Like, like we cool. So Any artists you want to work with? Like um, in the future? Yeah, I want to work with like... Um, Summer Walker. She posted your stuff too, huh? She did. Oh, and it's crazy because I had sing. just bought so much of her merch. Don't sing. Please don't do that ever again. Summer Walker. Mm-hmm. No, no. That's not how you sing. That's not how you carry a vocal. Um, no. I want to do a song like with Kevin Gates. Man, I had so many people in my head before and it's like, damn, I forgot to say that person. I forgot to say that person. It's so many people I want to do songs with. So you going to have features on your project? Um, Probably like I kind of don't want to, not on no cocky shit, but just because, to be honest, I have, I'm have i long overdue for music, and it's just like, they don't want to hear nobody else right now. They want to really hear me. So, like, I'm a, I'm a C, but I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm not a good, oh, let me send you this open type person. Like, I'm not really good yeah. at that, because I never know what people would like. Yeah. Everybody wanted that. He'd be like, I was just like, no, what the fuck? Or like a remix or something? Yeah, I was like, not yet. Like, my shit. Who hit you up on it? Like, some. Yeah, some, some people, some popping people have. Let me hear the nice. What's up? No, because I ain't doing it. Why? So that's fucked up. Let's because do, I, I want the right feature. Let's do like, if it could have happened. If cool. it could have happened, I feel like I want Kevin Gates or Young M.A. or the baby on it. Young I heard, I heard, boy, Young M.A. album went so hard. 
Young and Made is so hard. The baby album was not good. The baby album was good. Oh, I just Jesus I didn't Christ. listen to the whole thing until I was working out today. And I was just like, mm-hmm. oh, the shit, the whole album is pretty. See, pretty song nice. sounds different when you're working out because you're motivated. Yeah, right? see, that's what I was thinking. I was no, like, oh, listen shit. To it when you wind down, chill <laughs> Listen to it now. I bet you get a different opinion. No, I was listening to it on the way here. But just like my picks. I just. Nah, I, I, it sounds the same to me. I guess I had high hopes for his album because his singles was like he was hot. You know what I'm saying? Like when somebody's like, I think he did pretty good. Man, Young and May went hard. Young, Young and May, May for her first hard. album was nice. I was like, damn, it, I'm, I got that shit on repeat right now. Really? Yeah. I, I, I like I like the female rappers in the game right now. I like Rhapsody, of course. Mm. Megan, I like Young and May. I've been like Young and May. Let me see if I can. I might, I might, I might, I might can squeeze one more uh, female rapper in there. Then you gotta squeeze them out. I might squeeze one in there. I got, I got, I need, I need another hit though. I need another home run. Nigga, I, I, <laughs> no, don't do it for me. I'm just saying. I, I want, I want to hear another one. Nigga, you, you just ain't did your research, Mister June. Ooh. I got a bunch of shit to turn you into a fan in five seconds. I'm gonna look right now. Mm, go to that SoundCloud. I'm gonna go to, no, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to Spotify. I'll be your favorite rapper, favorite rapper. Okay, I see some called Deserve. Mm. 2017. Mm. Hit. Hit. Home run. Yeah, you gotta go to that SoundCloud. That's where the gold mom is. I don't get on SoundCloud. Like That's that. why you gotta get on there. That's why my freestyles on, so you can hear me. Oh, you do freestyle. I write free- freestyles. That's what everybody do, except the good ones, except the people that really know how to freestyle. Like, nobody be freestyling the puzzle. Do not be freestyling. Except me. Okay, Ugh. Mr. Fat Dick. Yes. You. Exceptional. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. That's all. This guy. What? I've been. Oh, y'all hate that. So I guess that's the name y'all rolling with now. Yeah, no, we like that. It's, it got, it's, yeah. I mean, it's kind of cool. We got offset now. We got offbeat, really. Yeah, you like the one you got kicked out here and make it, he make it cut. Damn. Take off, I've said Quavo, Damn. and I'll be the long lost cousin. Damn, for the disrespect is real on my own show. <laughs> they don't come to my shit. I don't want to come to your studio and just talk shit about your song. Like, man, this shit is trash. You only gave me like two seconds of me click, clack, clacking, and I couldn't even concentrate. But I, wasn't, I wasn't gonna come to your studio and be like, yo, this shit trash. You wouldn't even be able to. I'm live. I can't, so nobody can pull to the studio. I know I said you can't say that I'm trash because I'm live. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I'm gonna be like, yo, boo. You ain't you'll be like, shit, look, listen, this is how you gonna be. Ooh, shit. I'm gonna be listening like make faces and shit. <laughs> <laughs> not the good faces, huh? <laughs> not the good, not the steak faces, but the disgusted faces. I ain't gonna like, be like, ooh, hold on. I'm gonna be, be like, like <laughs> 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 this guy. Not gonna Knock on a window, because I'm pretty sure it's probably a separate, like, the producer room. That's the, it's like when you're recording it. Like, yeah. You got to, yo, cut, cut this shit. Cut that shit, shit off. This shit is hot garbage. Producer, move. Get out the goddamn chair. Let, <laughs> let me, me get in the booth. Let me get in the goddamn booth one time. <laughs> man, shit, let me tell y'all something, man. So we saying October 15th, the deadline. So that's projected date around this year. This year, though, right? It's going to be out for sure, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 for sure. Because I said that last year, but I ain't, I'm not for real this year. Like, uh-huh. I got way more of a, like, following, so I have no choice. It's growing, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, episode 81 is in the books. I might do a little freestyle after the show, but I'm probably not. I'm tired. <laughs> AK, Kendall, man, we out.